That was bad. That was very, very bad. Why are you not shooting good? Did I run you over the weekend battery and you're not telling me? What's going on today, guys? Anthony from Double Tap Media. And before we get into today's video, I did just want to talk about Shepherd Defensive. They're a company based here in the States that do make handmade battle belts for shooting, airsoft, and just basically utility work like that. Um, right here, as you can see, I have the multicam with the quick release clip. And these are all are all made to order. So I do wear a 28 and a 29 waist between there. I know I'm pretty tiny, but I told them what I needed and they shipped this thing within like three days. I mean, depending where everybody is, um, I did play with this over the weekend with Mike over at IPA, which is my team. He loves the belts. He's the one that actually turned me on to them. So I hit them up, copped one. And I mean, these belts are just amazing. But let's get on to the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and enjoy it. All right, guys, as you can see, we are in my backyard. No voiceovers or anything like that. So you do just have to put up with me talking all the time with this in my hand. This is a Scar L by FN Herschel, obviously. But I'm gonna be honest, we have no idea what type of, or what brand makes this gun or licensed this gun, whatever. So I did get this gun a while ago, uh, a couple months ago. I got it from a buddy. Um, I really wanted a scar, he gave it to me. I noticed that it did have that two tone and the black on it. So I started asking everybody what kind it was cause I wanted to see if I got a deal or anything like that. Um, Every kept, everybody kept saying it was VFC. Everybody kept saying it was cyber gun. So this gun is an anomaly. An anomaly with a PTS flash hider on it. PTS grip and EOTech that you can get from John Lee on Hop Up or Supply Airsoft. I will have their links down below as well along with Shepard Defensive for the belts. But I mean, I don't know what kind of scar this is i'm gonna be honest but i know it floats a 3.0 runs a 7.4 lipo and an 11.1 lipo and this thing is just an animal i love running the scar i love running the scar and my 416 but today we are just going to be talking about the scar and i know you guys are probably tired of seeing the 416 on my instagram all right guys we're gonna do a close-up of it as you can see it is a darker tan on a lighter tan color i do have the grip to match the lower and this kind of offsets the thing yeah whatever right here you do have your hop up pull that back and my arm is in the way there's your hop up right there up is up down is down you got to figure it out yourself i had to so do you pick a tiny round mounts boom boom and boom flip up iron sights and again guys if you do know what brand this gun is please let me know and you do have your Mock suppressor. Seeing I can't really talk about the brand that makes this gun, I know it's FN Herschel, obviously, but seeing I can't talk about the airsoft company that makes this gun, whether it be Cybergun, VFC, Tokyo Marui, anything like that, um, I do just want to go on the pros and cons on how this gun operates. Another disclaimer, I do not know who makes this, and I do not know where my buddy got it from. But, pros, gun is a very good weight. Granted, I did have to put the grip on it because I never really run grips because I like to carry it like that. But I have to carry it like this because the weight does hurt my little wrists and I do wear a watch when I play because I'm retarded. Um, the flip up iron sights, those are a pro because they are different in the way that they flip up and down. And I mean, the SCAR itself is a different gun. Uh, another pro is the ambidextrous mag releases and ambidextrous fire selectors. Another pro, moving on to the back, is you just flip that down and you got a little mini thing. Cons, let's start from the back. This little piece does that. Okay, moving on from me ripping the battery connectors out of the gun. The gun does shake a lot. Let me drop the high cap mag. Gun does shake a lot. I know I'm making a fool of myself because I am nervous doing this review because I don't know what kind of gun this is. I just got it from a buddy and I think I got it for a steal. Um, another con which coincides with a pro is the weight because over time you wanna, you know, you wanna run a lighter gun because this gun is really heavy. And then sometimes when I'm on the field, I have my 416, which is equally or greater heavy and weight, whatever. 
Um, another pro which I did forget to show you is the loops right here for your sling. They are ambidextrous as well. And I mean, there's a lot of space for storage. I know if you take these two off, these two things right here off, you can put your PTS extension on it or if you have the Scar H, whatever. But this is a Scar L and I do love this gun a lot. And I really don't care what kind of brand it is. I'm just curious. And I mean, overall the gun's a good gun, but enough of me talking, let's shoot it. So guys, I think that about wraps it up for today's video. I know I have been slacking on the videos, but I am trying to make up for it with the weekly content and my daily content on my Instagram. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, please follow me. I'll leave that thing link down below or the tag down below. And again, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video or on the field. So I finished the video, as you guys could tell, because the video just happened. Once again, I do not know who makes this gun and I do not know if it was either the battery or the gun itself but I went to go see why it was firing weird and when I went to go take the button off the stock this happened yeah so guys once again I do not know who makes this gun or if it was the Valken lipo but yeah that's it so guys i guess it's a good time to say always practice battery safety always know what you're buying always check the condition of everything that you're buying and again be safe and make sure that stuff does not happen